I remember the curfew and I remember rushing back home and on that drive home seeing ash fall from the sky and smelling the smoke and seeing the smoke billow out of buildings and seeing people run out of buildings carrying bags and looting and I remember seeing men in the back of a van just holding guns and rifles and I remember pulling up to the house and seeing the tree that had always been there completely charred and those memories don't go away. And I can't imagine that at 17 or 18 years old, which is how old you are now, that you would have to have a different version of that same type of experience. That's something that you should have an understanding of, but an understanding, an understanding of as a history lesson, not as your reality. So I am sorry that in a way we have not gotten the world to the place that you deserve it to be. The other thing though that I do remember about that time was how people came together. And we are seeing that right now. We are seeing that from the sheriff in Michigan or the police chief in Virginia. We are seeing people stand in solidarity. We are seeing communities come together and to uplift and you are going to be part of this movement. I know that this is not the graduation that you envisioned, and this is not the celebration that you imagined, but I also know that there's a way for us to reframe this for you and to not see this as the end of something, but instead to see this as the beginning of you harnessing all of the work, all the values, all the skills that you have, that you have, embodied over the last four years and now you channel that now all of that work gets activated now you get to be part of rebuilding and i know sometimes people say how many times do we need to rebuild well you know what we are going to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild until it is rebuilt because when the foundation is broken so are we you are going to lead with love you are going to lead with compassion you are going to use your voice you are going to use your voice in a stronger way than you've ever been able to because most of you are 18 or you're going to turn 18 so you're going to vote. You are going to have empathy for those who don't see the world through the same lens that you do because with as diverse and vibrant and open-minded as I know the teachings at Immaculate Heart are, I know you know that Black Lives Matter. The only wrong thing to say is to say nothing because George Floyd's life mattered and Breonna Taylor's life mattered and Philando Castile's life mattered and Tamir Rice's life mattered. And so did so many other people whose names we know and whose names we do not know. Stefan Clark, his life mattered.